city clerk please take the roll call. Here. 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 Uh, we have two resolutions on the agenda, agenda tonight and the procedure will follow. I will read the, the, um, the resolution and I'll ask Mr. Roloff, Mr. Davis to explain more about the resolution. We'll open it, then, uh, open, up, open it up then to public comment. After public comment, I'll bring it back to the council for a motion and a second discussion and a vote. So the first resolution is 17-534, approve proposed terms and conditions for the sale of a portion of Lakeshore, Lakeshore Municipal Golf Course and development agreement with Oshkosh Corporation for a new global headquarters. At this point, I'll turn it over to City Manager Roloff and Mr. Davis. Thank you. Mine's working. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Very good. All right. I have a brief PowerPoint presentation that summarizes what's included in the terms and conditions and the concept plan and the timeline. So I'd like to direct everybody's attention to the screens uh, so that I can go over the terms and conditions. Uh, the proposed sale of the land would be to Oshkosh Corporation for their global headquarters. It would contain 35 acres approximately uh, based on the final design and surveys. Is it possible to put that up on the screen? There it is. Very good. The purchaser, Oshkosh Corporation, for their global headquarters, as I indicated, 35 acres, depending on the final design and surveys. Uh, the price would be $100,000 per acre. Uh, the rezoning for a global headquarters with a planned development overlay would be done uh, by the plan commission and the council uh, in the future. Would involve the <coughs> demolition and removal of the clubhouse and includes an updated concept plan. If you recall, we had two concept plans originally and the concept plan uh, that we're uh, working on now is based on the input over the last month and a half. Here you can see in the yellow the general outline of the 35 acres as it relates to the existing property lines. And here's the concept plan that has been updated uh, based on Oshkosh Corp input, public input, and the city council direction. Uh, it does include the walking trail that uh, follows the river all the way from Rainbow Park all the way west to I-41 and the Tribal Heritage Trail. It includes extending Westfield and Keller North to an intersection that would be the front entrance to the Oshkosh Corp uh, campus. Uh, it also includes some uh, improvements for stormwater management and I have a, a brief synopsis of what's included on that concept plan. Uh, the global headquarters itself would be appro approximately 160,000 square feet. Uh, the public space for the other 65 acres, uh, the uses and improvements are uh, yet to be determined on that public space. I indicated the river walk would be extended from Rainbow Park to Tribal Heritage Trail. There's private commercial land uses along the north side of Oshkosh Avenue. Those would, uh, are outs actually outside the concept plan, but they would be included in the plan development. 
Uh, we'd extend Keller and Westfield North to the new intersection, and I mentioned the regional stormwater management. Here's a view, a 3D view of the same uh, concept plan that's been updated. You can see the location of the uh, river walk from Rainbow all the way over to I-41, the campus, the extension of Westfield and Keller, uh, the stormwater management improvements, as well as the improvements on the private property along Oshkosh Avenue. Tax increment finance incentives included in the proposal would be a 20-year TIF district be beginning in 2018. Uh, the pay-go would be determined by the property value that Oshkosh Corporation creates on the property. Uh, at this point, we require a minimum of $18.532 million in taxable value. There's two elements to the PAYGO. The PAYGO development grant for the first 12 years at $500,000 per year, totaling $6 million. That would go from 2020 to 2031. And then another PAYGO incentive payment determined by future tax increments exceeded the $500,000, and that would go from 2020 uh, till the <coughs> TIF district is terminated. And our estimate for total Oshkosh Corporation investment on this site would, uh, could easily reach $50 million. To recap some of the improvements that we're talking about, uh, the Tribal Heritage Trail connection to Rainbow Park uh, is there an item uh, on this map. Uh, we'd remove the clubhouse and remo uh, demolish and remove the clubhouse. Uh, we'd be extending Westfield North, and that has very specific requirements, and that would be uh, 40 feet wide with two driving lanes, one parking lane, and bike lanes in each direction, street lights and sidewalk. Uh, Keller would be the same uh, with uh, water main loop, uh, street, two lanes of traffic, parking, uh, sidewalk on each side, and the bike lanes. Uh, we're also looking at traffic impact analysis that would... Uh, uh, be that I would study Oshkosh Avenue from I-41 all the way to the Congress Bridge to see what kind of traffic impacts there would be so we can design those turn lanes correctly and the roundabout on Keller and, I and Highway 21, uh, Oshkosh Ave. Here's more specifics on that public infrastructure and site preparation. I mentioned the traffic impact analysis, the clubhouse being demolished and removed, the Riverwalk again, here's the specifics on the Westfield and the Keller Street expansions for the driving lanes, the bike lanes, the parking, and the utilities. Regional stormwater management facilities would be built that would serve this whole neighborhood, the commercial development along Oshkosh Avenue, as well as the Oshkosh Corporation Global Headquarters. This public infrastructure and site preparation would total $7,225,700. And at this point, we've identified uh, six sources of funding for uh, the public infrastructure. As you can see, number one, the Economic Development Revolving Loan Fund of little $1.3 million. Uh, we'd be pursuing grants from at least three different uh, sources, Wisconsin Department of Transportation, Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. Uh, we'd use some of the proceeds from the land sale for the Riverwalk. Uh, we have deferred capital projects of $827,000 uh, in 2018. We have project savings from prior capital projects of almost $2.5 million that we can pledge towards this, and we would be borrowing approximately $758,000 in 2018 through general obligation borrowing. That totals the $7,225,700. Then last but not least, the project, uh, projected timeline. The Advisory Parks Board and the Plan Commission held a joint meeting on Monday, November 6th. Uh, both boards reviewed the proposal and the concept plan and voted to approve, uh, recommend approval of this project. Oshkosh Corporation will make a site selection in late November is what we've been told. Uh, then we have several steps that we would need to complete prior to breaking ground. Uh, there's a purchase agreement that we'd schedule for December a tax increment finance plan that we would schedule for January, the development agreement in February, the property closing and groundbreaking would be in the spring of 2018 with complete construction by the end of December 2019. 
And that concludes my opening remarks. Thank you, Mr. Davis. And I will, we will open it up for public comment. Um, oh, okay. Okay, uh, Pam, who is our first speaker? Good evening. My name is Jason White. I serve as CEO of the Greater Oshkosh Economic Development Corporation. This evening, I just want to thank the Oshkosh uh, city staff and council for their work over the past uh, few months in working through this process to prepare this proposal for Oshkosh Corporation. As public servants, you most often hear criticism, uh, but rarely praise. And this evening, I want to offer praise for the work that you're doing. Uh, second, I want to thank Oshkosh Corporation, um, as many of them may be watching tonight, for their patience, commitment, and their support of our community. As we know, Oshkosh Corporation has had, um, as you might suspect, many offers and outreaches from other communities attempting to entice this project to their own communities. However, before heading to their board for this important recommendation, Oshkosh Corporation wanted to make sure that their home community had every opportunity to submit and compete for the fir company's first WOW headquarters campus in the company's 100-year history. So our community tonight is taking an important step towards supporting economic growth and prosperity, <coughs> recreational opportunities, and enhanced quality of life for all Oshkosh citizens. These efforts have come a long way over the last few months, and I want to thank uh, everyone for assisting these efforts collectively and also contributing to the public dialogue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pam, who's next? Hello, I'm Scott Sitter, President and CEO of Choice Bank. I'm here today to urge you to vote in favor of agenda items one and two. Earlier this year, Oshkosh Corporation announced that they would like to build a world-class headquarters to help attract the brightest and best executives to their management team. I applaud the senior management team of Oshkosh Corporation for recognizing this need and the willingness to invest in their future. This was very forward-looking, very proactive, and very smart of the Ashkesh Corporation team. They understand what is needed in today's global marketplace. Now the question becomes, do we, the city of Ashkosh, also want to become world-class? Do we want to be forward-looking, proactive, and smart? Are we willing to make an investment in our future? If we are fortunate enough to have the Oshkosh Corporation Board select Oshkosh for its future headquarters, we have that opportunity to become world class. First, the executives and management team of Oshkosh Corporation will continue to be residents of Oshkosh and our neighboring communities. These are well-educated, high-character individuals and their families. They eat at our restaurants, they shop at our retail stores, and they volunteer at our schools. They help to make Oshkosh a better place, a better destination, and a better community. Second, the construction of the new Oshkosh Corporation headquarters will be an attractive site from Interstate 41 and the Butamore Bridge. It will initiate future development along the Oshkosh Avenue corridor, which in turn will provide additional tax revenue for our community. Finally, by keeping Oshkosh Corporation in Oshkosh, we will have a tremendous marketing tool to promote our community. How many communities have a Fortune 500 company headquartered in the community that bears its name? I urge you to vote in favor of agenda items one and two tonight. Show support to a company that has given so much to our community. Show the Oshkosh Corporation board that we support their efforts to build a world-class headquarters and that we want to be a world-class community that, was, that is forward-looking just like them. 
Thank you. Pam, who's next? Good evening. Thank you. My name is Tom Belter. I'm the uh, Vice Chairman of the Oshkosh Redevelopment Authority and also Chairman of the Chamber of Commerce Economic Development Advisory Board. So my focus really is on economic development. Um, I'm also happen to be a 35-year veteran commercial banker who's done probably half a billion dollars worth of real estate underwriting. So I understand the value of a world headquarters in a town like Oshkosh. Um, I've been reading the papers lately, looking at what happens to Peoria when Caterpillar announces that they're moving to Chicago. Um, they're going to diversify. They're going to try to find other people to come in town and, and employ their, uh, uh, it's only a 10,000 uh, person community. But their main concern was that they won't have donors for their symphony, their arts, their schools. And ours is even in multiples of that. The Oshkosh Corp's $2.3 million worth of community support is invaluable and it's every year and it'll be even more once we get more people in town. So my last point, I'm a big uh, biker and trail user and every time I come off the Butamore Bridge Trail, put my bike along Oshkosh Avenue on a two foot wide street that's about 12 inches from cars going 40 miles an hour, um, I'm worried about kids and children and bikers um, along that street. So we really need to get this uh, trail fixed, improve the park so the Oshkosh residents can all enjoy a nice, safe place to uh, enjoy our resources. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate you, uh, the time you give me, and do the right thing. We need it. Thank you. Ma'am? Mike Russell, 1118 Bowen Street. Good evening. Is that on? Um, uh, well, it's on, Mike. I think it's uh, working. Yeah, no. Just get a little closer. Okay. Thank you for giving me some time. Um, redeveloping the golf course is a win-win situation for the city of Oshkosh. The new Oshkosh Corporation headquarters would keep 460 great paying jobs, plus the opportunity to add a couple hundred more. These people support Oshkosh shops and restaurants. They purchase homes in Oshkosh. They donate their time, talent, and treasure to the city of Oshkosh. <laughs> They pay property taxes in Oshkosh and the surrounding communities. Oshkosh Corporation has thousands of clients that visit Oshkosh every year. These clients stay in Oshkosh, they stay in our hotels, they eat in our restaurants. The new headquarters would generate hundreds of thousands of dollars annually to the city tax coffers, which I'm sure you're all doing budget now and you could use a few extra funds. Lakeshore Golf Course would finally be open to the whole city, not just a small portion of the population. It was interesting on Monday night um, at the Planning Commission meeting, the excitement that was there and people being excited <coughs> about developing a new park and what could be in the new park. So I think it's just a win-win situation for everyone. Also, there's been statements on social media and things about the city giving away the the land to Oshkosh Corporation. Oshkosh Corporation is paying top dollar for this land. At $100,000 an acre, I did a little research. Butamore Country Club, which is about 115 acres, is appraised at $3,400,000. So that's about 29,000 an acre. Oshkosh Country Club sold for 1.2, 1.3 million. That's maybe 10,000 an acre. So you're selling this for 100,000 an acre. So it's a great, it's great for the city of Oshkosh. I mean, it's great for the coffers. Oshkosh Corporation has been a great partner in the community, the Boys and Girls Club, the Food Pantry, UWO, Fox Valley Tech, and the Oshkosh Public School System have all benefited greatly by Oshkosh Corporation's generosity. The loss of this company headquarters would be devastating. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and um, I appreciate all everybody has done here in the city. I mean, the city manager, all of you, I'm sure you've gotten tons of nasty emails and terrible accusations. You people have stuck your neck out, and I applaud all of your efforts. I mean, you've all done a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Pam? Bonnie Parnell, 4397 Wapon Road. I 
speak up front. <laughs> I'd like to applaud the City Council for taking a forward-thinking approach to the future of our great city. Oshkosh is known throughout the world. As a retired flight attendant, and now a retiree who often travels in an RV, I have the opportunity to travel extensively around the globe. No matter where I have traveled, when I've introduced myself and said where I was from, there was immediate recognition and heard, that's where the big air show is, or that's where they make those big trucks. And they're excited, and, and they almost seem envious of me, and I'm proud of that. If Oshkosh Corp were to leave Oshkosh, I see many negative effects, not only to the community itself, but our reputation around the world. If the corporate headquarters were to leave, that the departure of their many other facilities will come to, not necessarily right away, but they will follow because the business-friendly community will no longer exist. If Oshkosh allows Oshkosh Corp to leave, what other business would even consider Oshkosh as their future home? In our instant information society, news travels fast and worldwide, and the negative effects will be far-reaching. We all love our green space, and I understand the concerns of those that do not wish to lose the golf course. However, the plans I have seen allow for beautiful green space and the opportunities to make the Oshkosh Avenue area a thriving and vibrant part of the community. So in my future travels, if the worst should happen and Oshkosh Corp elects to leave Oshkosh, I hope the answer to the question of why did they leave will be, despite our best efforts, we did everything we could to keep them here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Pam, who is next? Linda Javaltas, 1615 North Point Street. Um, I just found out about this meeting a couple hours ago, so I don't have a statement to read. Um, but I do want to speak for the Habitat. I'm in total agreement with um, Oshkosh Corporation um, purchasing uh, the land from the city. I think it would be great for the uh, public, win-win for everybody, like other people said. But I do want to speak for the um, Habitat. Um, when I look at the map, and, and I attended the hearing, a few weeks ago and saw the, the plans. The, um, probably a third of the land is for parking spaces, okay? And that was a little concerning uh, to me because right now that's, there's green habitat there for animals, birds, and I don't hear anybody speaking to that issue. Um, I think it would be great if Oshkosh Truck would build a nice parking ramp to make as much green space as possible. Um, so that's my only concern, is the, the loss of so much green space to parking. Um, we have no idea what the impact is going to be um, in that little corner of the world for us. Um, and I would just like to make sure that bug is placed in everyone's ear tonight when, we're, you know, when we consider um, the things with, that we would like Oshkosh Truck to do with that land. Thanks. Thank you. Pam, who is next? Cecilia Harry, 5 Hampton Court, Fond du Lac. <clears throat> Good evening. I'm Cecilia Harry. I'm with Envision Greater Fond du Lac, Chamber of Commerce and Economic Development efforts for Fond du Lac County. And I'm here to express my support for the proposed solution to keep Oshkosh Corporation in the city of Oshkosh. As you know, the way people and dollars flow through an area is not defined by city, county, or even state lines. Oshkosh Corporation's headquarters may be located in Winnebago County, but Fond du Lac County certainly enjoys ripple effects of having this employer just about 15 miles from the county line. There are Fond du Lac County residents that work there. There are Fond du Lac County businesses that provide goods and services to Oshkosh Corporation. If Oshkosh Corporation were to leave Winnebago County in the city of Oshkosh, the negative effects would be felt in the neighborhoods, businesses, and schools in Fond du Lac County. But my support is for more than just how Oshkosh Corporation directly impacts the community that I live in and serve. It affects the supply chain and industry clusters that thrive in this region of the state. Collectively, our businesses are the web of connections, jobs, and economic transactions that allow our communities to exist and thrive. If we as individual communities are going to grow our economic base and continue to attract new residents and provide an amazing quality of life, we must work together to support our region's existing industry base. 
We must help our businesses that are already connected and invested here anticipate obstacles and address those obstacles in the community that has been home for a long time. I stand supportive of the efforts led by the City of Oshkosh and the Greater Oshkosh Economic Development Corporation to keep the existing impact and secure the future impact of Oshkosh Corporation in Winnebago County and the City of Oshkosh. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. Who's next? John Casper, 120 Jackson Street. Good evening. Uh, thanks for having us here tonight. Um, I'm here representing the Oshkosh Chamber of Commerce, a uh, member organization of businesses, about 1,000 in Oshkosh. We employ about uh, 28,000 people here in, in the city of Oshkosh, and we're representing the business community on this issue. Uh, speaking in support of the two resolutions in front of you, uh, both the sale of the 35 acres of the Lakeshore Golf Course to Oshkosh Corp, uh, the, the development plan, and also the uh, infrastructure planning uh, funding plan. Um, we believe that advancing both resolutions are critical as an essential next step to uh, securing our future and securing Oshkosh Corporation here in Oshkosh. You all know the stakes are high. I mean, we're competing against other communities. The last time I was in front of you, I asked you to be bold. I asked you to be aggressive um, in when developing this proposal. We ask that you develop and offer a uh, incentive package that would not only be, be competitive, but would, would win. And we believe this proposal gives us the best opportunity to secure Oshkosh Corporation in its home where it belongs. Um, you know, we talk about this many times. This is a defining moment. I think historically, I, I, I could dare say this is probably the most significant vote this, this council has ever made. And I'm so happy that I, I can say that, you know, you guys, because of your leadership, we're here today. We're in the running. We're going to make this thing happen. So um, this is, I think, one of our finest moments. I think we should make the best, the best of this. It should be a, a, a time to celebrate, and we need to seal this deal. Thank you. Thank you. Pam. Wayne Youngworth, 60 East Wacaw Avenue. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm a lifelong resident of this area, Oshkosh. I spent 43 years of my life in the manufacturing sector working all over North America, Europe, Mexico, Canada. I know what this is all about. I've been through this many times. I've seen companies that have come and gone, and I'm sure you have too. Let's not let that happen again. I'd like to commend you, the council, the chamber, go EDC, for all the hard work you've done. The proposal is magnificent. Very proud of what the staff has done. You guys are lights out on this project. I hope you are awarded this. We have heard the, all the numbers, all the rhetoric, and it's time to basically understand that it has impact not only in Oshkosh, Northeast Wisconsin, and the state of Wisconsin. This is a huge corporation. They have employees all over the state, all over the country, all over the world. I don't know if you know, but there's only nine corporate headquarter companies left in Wisconsin that are Fortune 500. Let's make sure that after tonight, we don't have eight left. So let's get this done. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Pam. Rachel Hansen, 344 Oak Manor Drive. <clears throat> Good evening, City Council members. My name is Rachel Hansen. Tonight I would like to talk about the value of retaining Oshkosh Corporation here in Oshkosh, which I believe is directly related to keeping young professionals in our city. As a member of Oshkosh's Young Professionals Organization, Propel, I understand how much the future of this city and our organization is directly affected by Oshkosh Corporation. Oshkosh Corporation is an employer partner with Propel and contributes a significant amount of young professionals to our organization. These young professionals help keep Oshkosh a thriving and growing community by establishing families, contributing to the housing market, furthering their education and the education of their children, volunteering in the community, and donating to local charities. Without Oshkosh Corporation, our city faces losing a significant amount of young professionals. I fear that in the absence of a major recruiter and Fortune 500 company like Oshkosh Corp, Oshkosh will lose its appeal to attract and retain young professionals. 
this would be detrimental not only to the future of our great city, but to young professionals as well. On behalf of young professionals, and as a contributing member of this great community, I strongly ask the City Council to vote for the approved proposal of the sale of 35 acres of Lakeshore Golf Course to Oshkosh Corporation for their global headquarters. The development of Lakeshore property into a global headquarters is an exciting time for Oshkosh, and I am hopeful that the City Council will make the right decision to protect the integrity of this community and to continue to enhance the future for young professionals. Thank you. Yeah. Matt Mugar, 2321 Golden Avenue. <clears throat> Good evening. Uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity to speak tonight. Uh, I'll keep it brief. I don't want to be too repetitive, but some things do go, uh, do need to be repeated a few times. And I want to say thank you to city staff, uh, city manager, council, uh, go ADC in the chamber for all the work you've, you've put into this uh, competitive and compelling offer. And that's what it is. Uh, you've done well. I hope it's a, uh, I hope it comes out positive for us, of course. Uh, but I guess the one thing I'd like to leave you with is I urge, I implore the six of you who are going to vote on this this evening to pass it unanimously, to show Oshkosh Corp, uh, the business community, the citizens of Oshkosh, that you're willing to make the tough decisions, willing to do what's necessary to provide a prosperous future for Oshkosh. Thank you. Thank you. Ma'am. Shonda Anderson, 542 West 16th Avenue. <clears throat> Hi. I don't actually know what to say that I didn't say on Monday. First, I want to thank you guys for recognizing that um, the uh, need for this was pre um, needed. That sounds stupid. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, uh, I have about 730 reasons to um, give uh, Oshkosh Truck the opportunity to build on Lakeshore. Do you want to hear them all? I've got them. I didn't write them down, so it's off the cuff. I have one reason not to, and I'm not even going to go into that. But we, many people have spent so much, including all of you, so much time building Oshkosh into the best city it can be. All of us, all of us want the best Oshkosh it can be. Nobody loves Oshkosh more than the people in this room, except for the TV people. They probably are Green Bay, you know. Um, <laughs> so, um, I just wanna, I just wanna stress how important it is to um, bring in that that talent, and we know that the primary reason they're looking at the bigger cities is for the talent pool. Um, we need to start working on getting that talent here, and I know that there's a great effort being done by many people to try and pull that talent pool to Oshkosh, let's do it. Why not? You know, let's get those millennials. They like to shop downtown, you know. So um, <laughs> I just think that it's a, a really important um, issue. I do worry about the wildlife a little bit, but you know, there's still like 100 acres left over they can just move and um, we can relocate them to Menominee or something. But um, I, I don't send me nasty emails, please. Um, anyway, that's, that's the first. OK, number two, just kidding. Um, anyway, please really consider this. I don't really know where you guys are on this topic. But I mean, it's important for us to keep those millennials and build that talent pool, not give up 500 jobs to Chicago, like they need 500 more people. And I am really excited for the future of having um, that area developed into a beautiful, I can envision this beautiful glass building. I'm going to send them my plans, see if they want to adopt them. And um, the space and all the stuff that can happen in that space. I said it on Monday, I'll say it again. 
if it were up to me, I would give it to them. I would give them the land in hopes that they're like, you know, we can't turn that down um, because they're, we're facing a big issue with that talent pool. So hopefully <coughs> they're like, home is home and we're staying there and we will get people to come here. Thank you. Thank you. Pam. Bill Wyman, 1373 Wagu Avenue. <clears throat> Hi, um, I am the president and CEO of the Oshkosh Area Community Foundation, and I am here tonight as a request from our board. Um, the Community Foundation Board really wants to personally thank each and every one of you for everything you've done so far. The time and effort that the staff and the council has put into this is, is amazing. So you, uh, we believe that you are just going over the top and you're going to make the right decision. So. So we're very happy for that. Um, the Community Foundation's mission is to strengthen communities. And we do that through leadership, stewardship, and collaboration. And over the years, the Community Foundation and the city has collaborated on many different projects that have strengthened the community. I'm here to say tonight that the Community Foundation wants to continue to partner with the, with the city and continue the collaboration as this effort moves forward. So we want to strengthen the community, and we want to help. Thank you. Thank you. Pam? Mark Doson, 501 East Parkway. Hi, I'm Mark Doson with uh, here, just a little just different take. It's with Boys and Girls Club. So I'm the... CEO for Boys and Girls Club here in Oshkosh. <clears throat> I have only one complaint about Oshkosh Corp, and that is that they don't say enough publicly what they do here in the community. Um, so I'm here to tell you that for decades that company has been quietly behind the Boys and Girls Club. They've been there when we've needed to build buildings. They helped us with our Radford Club when it was time to build the Oshkosh Bagosh family. Foundation Team Center, they were there. Every year, they significantly support the Boys and Girls Club financially, people, volunteering, work projects. They're there. They were behind our mission. They've been longtime partners. And uh, while this is all going on here, I can just tell you tonight there are hundreds of kids that are at the Boys and Girls Club who got help with their homework today, were fed, taken care of working with those kids. Oshkosh, Oshkosh Corp has been behind this and with us quietly all the, all, all the, all the, the decades uh, for the Boys and Girls Club. So let's do the right thing. Let's keep them here. They're good for the community. Thank you. Thank you. Pam? That's it. We're registered. Is there anyone else wishing to address the council? John, you'll have to sign the other sheets. Very well. Good evening. My name is John Newman. I live at 1013 Washington Avenue, and I serve as the president of Aurora Medical Center Oshkosh. Aurora Healthcare is a large organization, and across our spectrum, I will tell you that it's going to be very impactful if a company like Oshkosh Core were to start pulling out of Wisconsin. We've committed to Wisconsin. They've committed to Wisconsin. I don't need to repeat what you've heard. I just want to tell you that I, for one, I am proud when I see a fire truck go by that's got new modifications that's going to help save lives. I am proud at seeing how a ladder can reach up multi-stories to help build a building. I am certainly proud and have sat in in a forward deployed location in the trucks that protect our soldiers and airmen. Defense is not a fun topic, but it's a necessary topic. People that commit to protecting our servicemen, I am proud. And so, aside from what everybody has said here, I'm very proud of what Oshkosh Core does <coughs> in their core business. And while I'm equally proud for GE and General Motors, 
I just think that what Oshkosh Court does for America and does for us and reflects even in our own name is something I'm proud of. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to address the council? Uh, Tom Castle, I've spoken to you before, as you know, and I'm, as chair of Go ADC, you've heard my comments and how I believe for economic development, how important this is. But sitting out there, what I wanted to speak quickly on is, Castle Pierce, my business, is not a vendor or a supplier to Oshkosh Corp. But having Oshkosh Corp in this community helps businesses like mine and other ones that are not vendors bring talent in. It helps us attract people to have a company like this in Oshkosh. So you're not only affecting the vendor and supply chain base of Oshkosh Corp and Oshkosh Corp, but the other businesses that are in this community that have nothing to do with it, but understand the importance they bring to the community in, in bringing other, other uh, amenities to this community. So make the decision as I've talked to you before. It's a tough one, but it's what you've been put in there in this chairs for. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is there Mayor, anyone else that would like to address us? I have Bill Miller, 3322 Isaac Lane. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Mr. Olaf. Amazing job, seriously, guys. This package is, is we couldn't ask for better from all of you. Thank you. I can't help but echo the sentiments from everybody I've listened to tonight. But we're missing one thing. Nobody's talked about this. The 500 corporate jobs are, are magnificent, but what goes along with those are the 3,000 blue collar jobs, the factory workers, the hardworking people that, that make truck what it is. If this corporate headquarters moves, this isn't, this isn't fear talking. If this corporate headquarters moves, these jobs will trickle out of here. And these jobs are putting food on the table of average people. So please, please consider them, not the corporate <clears throat> headquarters, when you vote tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I have no further individuals registered. If there's no one in the audience that would like to address this, I will bring it back to the council for a motion and a second. I would move 17 534. <clears throat> second. Discussion. <clears throat> Uh, Councilmember Kraus. I just wanted to remind everybody here and at home that since I'm an Oshkosh Corp employee, I'll be abstaining from all discussion and I'll be voting president. And I fully support the council and their decision. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember Peck. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, it's been said tonight that this is probably one of the biggest decisions that have ever been made in Oshkosh. Um, I played my first round of golf in 1973 at Lakeshore Municipal Golf Course. I spent many great days with my father at Lakeshore Municipal Golf Course prior to his passing in 1976. That course has been around for 100 years. We also have another 100 year history with Oshkosh Corp. Uh, and we've heard all of the benefits and everything that Oshkosh Corp has brought to this community. This is truly a, uh, it, it, the decision that my vote will be based on, it's a win-win vote, but there is a loss in this one way or the other. Obviously we're going to lose, we could potentially lose the 100 year tradition of, of Oshkosh's municipal golf course or we could lose the 100 year tra tradition of the Oshkosh Corporation's headquarters being located in Oshkosh. I've always said when I've been on council that I have no problems making the tough decisions and that when I make a decision, I make that decision in the best interest of the whole, of the community. I don't look at any particular special interest or whatever. Our duty is to serve the city of Oshkosh and its citizens and constituencies. So with that, I am voting in favor of 17534 because of the impact that this is going to have on Oshkosh today, tomorrow, and the future. <clears throat> change is difficult. It's hard. People don't like change. 
But if you don't change, you don't progress. I am voting to progress, to move forward in this community. As I've often said, I am voting to move forward to the future, not ahead to the past. Thank you. <clears throat> Deputy Mayor Herman. Thank you, Mayor. Um, when I got elected eight years ago, um, I chose to serve the city of Oshkosh and its citizens um, and do what's right for the city. Many of you know I have a passion for Lakeshore. Like um, Councilmember Peck, I grew up there. My daughter became a state finalist by playing golf at Lakeshore. My father-in-law got a home one at Lakeshore. It's a tough call, but you can't let your heart get in the way. When you're elected to represent the citizens of Oshkosh, you have to look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is a world headquarters at Lakeshore. Maybe a nine hole golf course is in the future too. We don't know. There's 70 acres left. There's many diagrams of how a nine hole golf course could be there along with the trails and everything else. So I'm not voting with my heart tonight because I would vote negative. I'm gonna vote with my head and what's right for the city. So I'll be voting in favor of 17534, even though my heart says the other way. Thank you. At stake this evening are not a golf course or a new office building. What is at stake are jobs, hundreds of them, and the financial stability of the city of Oshkosh, the surrounding communities, <coughs> our citizens, and the future of this community, and our children. Oshkosh Corporation is a Fortune 500 company that employs thousands of our citizens directly and indirectly through employment and its supply chain. It is the largest defense contractor in the state of Wisconsin and a leader in the markets it serves. <coughs> Oshkosh, Oshkosh Corporation is a very important strand of the fabric that make makes this community great. Over the past decade, our city has changed its image from one of stagnation to a progressive and forward-thinking community on the thres threshold of greatness once again in this state and country. Just look what has happened in less than 10 years. The river walk along the historic Fox, the Best Western Premier Waterfront Hotel and Convention Center, Oak Lawn Elementary School, the Wisconsin herd and Menominee Nation. New apartments along the shore of the river. People are investing in Oshkosh, in our community, once again. We have an exceptional quality of life with organizations such as UWO, the third largest in the system, Fox Valley Technical College, the Payne, the Public Museum, the Grand, <coughs> the EAA, and events throughout the year that draw thousands of people to our community and bring lots of money with them. We now have an opportunity to have a homegrown Fortune 500 company with deep roots in Oshkosh build its new global headquarters here. Building the new campus will send a message, message throughout the state of Wisconsin and the nation that the city of Oshkosh is open for business like never before. And we are a world-class city. This has been a great, another great collaboration between the city of Oshkosh, the Oshkosh Chamber of Commerce, and GoEDC. I also want to thank the citizens of Oshkosh for their support of a company that has done so much to support our community over the past century. Now is not the time to discourage progress for whatever reason, so obviously I am voting in favor of this resolution. Thank you. Councilman Palmieri. Thank you, Mayor. First of all, I'd just like to thank the hundreds of citizens who made contact either through email or phone call or in person to express their concerns, their enthusiasm for this proposal. I'm inspired 
by the passion and the engagement of those who made contact with us. Yes, it's been challenging, the volume. Yes, it's complicated. However, the opportunity that's presenting itself is, is worth that extra effort. After evaluating the complex benefits and costs of this proposal for our citizens, both current and future, I will be supporting this proposal, recognizing that we do have, we are sacrificing some elements in order to gain those anticipated benefits. So I will be supporting 17-534. Thank you. Councilperson uh, Pansky. Thank you, Mayor. Um, since I've been on council, this is almost four years already. This has probably been the most stressful portion of, of this whole thing. Um, and ironically, starting out, I think the, the first issue I had a, a, a passion over was the debt that the golf course had. That was the very first budget hearing, and I was like, this can't be right. You know, and here we are getting rid of that, um, that budget issue. Uh, there are other things that have kept me up, um, things that have bothered me about this phone calls. Um, I think we came together really well as a council and as staff and as a community. Um, I will be supporting this this evening. I am um, very proud to be able to do so. I think this is a very pivotal moment in our community and I'm very honored to be able to sit here and voice my support for this this evening. Um, I just want to remind everybody though that we are not done here as a community. We still have 65 acres to play around with. So this is this is a start, but we have a, a, a ways to go so that we can all enjoy this. So I look forward to uh, working with you all for a while yet. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. Councilperson Allison Osby. Thank you, Mayor. I think a complicated uh, topic and probably one of the most challenging that we've had certainly in the over six and a half years that I have served um, would certainly be an understatement. Um, and like Ms. Paul Mary would certainly like to thank the community um, both those that supported the sale of Lakeshore um, and pro Oshkosh Corp building there, as well as those that shared a lot of their concerns um, and their passion who didn't. What, what is something, something that struck out to me is how important communication is, because I will say a number of the emails that were very much against the, the sale of Lakeshore, very much against um, Oshkosh Corp, when you had an in-depth conversation with them or a good communication exchange, they realize that there's really more to the story than what perhaps you just see. Um, you know, I will say that what I found was that people often didn't realize that this wasn't really about the community against Oshkosh Corp. A corporation of that size, of course, is always going to have a third party that's going to do their negotiating. I am confident that the, that the CEO as well as the team passionately, passionately wants to be here. And if I was the board of directors and a shareholder, I would want to hi hire a third party as well to do all of the negotiating. Um, certainly we know when we look around, if, if, if you've done your due diligence, which many, many of us have, and I give a lot of credit to all the organizations that have helped, is that if you just look around us in, in our area, just within the last 12 to 24 months, the incentive packages to have companies locate are far more than what we're offering to Oshkosh Corp right now. And that's not even for a company that's in a, in a Fortune 500 status. And we've thrown the Fortune 500 status out quite a bit, but in all reality, they actually bounce from about 322 to, to 350 on the Fortune 500 list. That is something incredibly precious um, and something that I know that not very many, when we talk about the nine that are located in the state, um, you know, I'm not sure where that falls, but I'm sure it's in probably the top three. Coming from up north and growing up on Lake Superior, um, I certainly, that was one of the things that I, I struggled with initially was, you know, um, I would love to have the company pick a, a spot that I thought I wanted them to go. But that's not where they wanted to go. And I do believe that everybody here knows that it is asking the community to give up a tradition of, of 100 years. But I think something is to be said that sometimes you do have to give up something in order to keep or have something grow 
that is, uh, is absolutely relevant and pertinent to the community. I have absolutely no doubt, based on the testimonies that we've heard from representatives of the school district, the Boys and Girls Club, our Oshkosh Area Foundation, not to mention a lot of stories that I've heard. And in fact, Mr. Russell had um, said, or maybe there was another person that had said that sometimes often um, they're, they're quiet about what they do. <clears throat> so I think for them, they will only continue to support this community in ways that we can't even imagine. And so for that and for um, the city that we're building for our millennials and hearing from them, uh, Ms. Hansen did a wonderful job of talking about what it means to, to her. And really, at the end of the day, that's what staff, our existing businesses, our businesses to come, and the seven of us, that's what we're doing is we're building a city for the future. So I am in 100% wholeheartedly support um, this resolution this evening. Thank you. Thank you. I see no other council member wishing to speak at this time. Would the city clerk please take the roll? <clears throat> Pansky? Aye. Krause? Present. Peck? Aye. Paul Mary? Aye. Allison Osby? Aye. Herman? Aye. Cummings? Aye. Carried six, one present. I would like this time to move 17 535. Second. And do we have anyone from the public wishing to speak to this? I have no one. Okay, we'll bring it back to the council for discussion. Council, uh, Deputy Mayor Herman. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to point out there's been some comments out in the community that uh, we're giving away the, the bank to uh, make sure that uh, we can do this funding. I just want people to know we, are, we reached out to Winnebago County. They didn't even want to participate at all. Look what Fond du Lac, the girl from Fond du Lac talked about. Fond du Lac County stepped up along with the city of Fond du Lac. I lobby all of you that lobbied us to now lobby Winnebago County to get a taxiway put in at the airport so we can start growing our aviation industrial park. So now pick up your phone, pick up your emails, and start notifying your county board supervisors so that they can get that done. Because if you look around in Black Wolf, Nakaimai, Algoma, Oshkosh, what economic development is in the townships? This city stepped up. The city stepped up. No one else but the city, along with um, our partners stepped up to make this proposal and this funding proposal. So I think it's time that people give Oshkosh credit. Everybody gives it to Appleton, but if you took the townships out of Appleton, we're way above Appleton. Everybody said we lost the airport. The city of Oshkosh didn't own Whitman Regional Airport. It's owned by Winnebago County. We lost the mall. The city didn't own the mall. It was privately owned. So this city, this council, this staff, along with Jason White, Go ADC, the chamber, they all stepped up. So the, it's us making sure the future stays in Oshkosh. Thank you. Thank you. I see another council member. Uh, Wishing to speak, would you please take the roll? Pansky? Aye. Krause? Present. Pack? Aye. Paul Mary? Aye. Allison Osby? Aye. Herman? Aye. Cummings? Aye. Carried six, one present. Next on the agenda is a little uh, public service announcement for project that's being put on by the public museum and our, our, our library and this is a uh, to commemorate the, the music of the world war world war one it'll be held on uh, at the museum i'm sorry at the public library on sunday in the dome on november 12th from 3 to 3 30 so it's uh, free to the the public but it'll be the music that was all composed during world war one 
With that, I would ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in fa favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Adjourned.